I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple. We're coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Left me hanging. With another What Sold Sunday on a Monday. Yes. Is it Monday already? Yes. Jesus. It's so exciting. This is a good week. It was a great week. If you're new to our channel, uh, please subscribe if you like this we are resellers from dallas texas yeah man dallas and we uh sell on macari ebay and poshmark for yeah, the most part for the most part and every monday we come on here and we told you what sold the previous week yes and you guys seem to like these videos and we love doing them so yeah. what sold we had a good week we're gonna start off with poshmark yes um and first sale of the week was a Two item bundle. I love this bundle. It's a great bundle. So uh, a guy came in and liked this uh, 90s Versace classic dress shirt. Check that out. It's because I put rare in the title. That's right. I know it. Um, so he liked it and we sent him an offer and then he commented back and was like, hey, I actually like this other shirt that you have and gave us the inventory number of our listing. Nice. Um, and said, so can you send me, I'll buy both of them for 38 bucks. And I was like, sold. You get both shirts for $38. He was basically running our Poshmark store. It was great. Yeah. So <laughs> he bought, him. yeah, he bought this Versace, uh, dress shirt and this Zanela dress shirt. Who? Gesundheit. Exactly. Mm. I, I, I haven't heard of Zanella, or I don't know how. But we... that one was cool in nineties too. He liked like the older style. Yeah. He was kicking it, you know, classic style. Right. That's that cool. right. Um, so next... that, the, hold on, oh, the, oh. the lesson. What's the lesson? When you get like a high end item, but it's kind of nineties and it's kind of like ugly. <laughs> if you put rare in the title, because I mean it's from the nineties, it's like twenty years old, so it's like or thirty years. Old. Got it. Oh, oh man. man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's Mojo. He's our cat. And anyway, if you put rare, because it, I mean, obviously if it's vintage, it's rare. It sells. It sells. Um. We also sold, here he comes, nope, the, <laughs> this pair of blue suede Cole Haan shoes for 30 bucks. Blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, blue suede shoes, that's right. You Come coming in? You he's, warmed up? He's really fine, we promise. He, he's totally fine. He wants his own YouTube channel. He makes that noise all the time. Come on up. Um, moving along, we also sold a Magellan blue dark blue long sleeve fishing shirt for 12 bucks we don't pick up this brand anymore no it's a cat it's an academy house brand. yeah and we're learning yeah you just like you that guys was, that was old we picked that up very very early hey buddy we thought it was like columbia or something yeah you know, kind of at least on, on par and it's not oh wait can you guys see mojo oh we zoomed in pretty good today Aww. hey buddy he's here visiting uh what else do we sell from our b and g chaser box yes we sold this, what is it? A maxi, maxi dress, dress. For 50 bucks. That's how much that dress is worth. And people have been sending us offers for $12, whatever. It's new whatever. with tags, people. Come on. That dress sold for $100 new. So $50. So there you Take go. It. And Boom. it went. We also sold this pair of Sam Edelman driver loafers for 60 bucks. I held out on these. You did? Yeah, we were getting like $12 and $20 offers for a long time. Yep. And Sam Edelman is hit or miss. It really is. But this shoe has been on bloggers' feet, and I look at blogs, and I knew that it was worth, the value of it was worth more than your average Sam Edelman, because bloggers are wearing them, I did and not it's know that. fall coming up. So that's what, so you, you watch all the blogs, and that's good. So you, I try. You research all of the things. That's why we're a team. That's right. Mojo's part two. Um, we, we sold a pair of fry boots. The, yes. what are these, Veronica's? The Veronica. Short moto boots or something? They yes. sold for 110 Okay, Heathers. Yes. So, you guys, we were talking about fry boots last week. Were we? Yeah. Okay. And these are the kind of boots that sell. I was telling you guys, all fry boots are not equal. Mm -hmm. And these moto style ones, if you can find them. Yeah, because we had them listed for, what, 150 And we were sending offers out on them all day long for 125 mm -hmm. And then somebody bit, and they countered at one ten, and we'll we'll take we we took that on. Yeah, the this short moto style is is very very popular for us. The yeah, cherry, and the color was the super color cool. The color is like cherry cola. Yeah, that cherry color we sold two pairs in that same colorway. People love it. Yeah. It's really unique. All right, what we else find we got? It. What else we got? We got this. What was this? An Adeline something like yeah, that. Yeah, it came in our uh, B and G, the original premier 
box we got. Okay, this is a jumpsuit, right? It's a jumpsuit. Yeah, 20 bucks for the jumpsuit. Jumpsuits aren't doing well for us, so mm -hmm. I just took a little offer. I mean, yeah. we didn't lose money. I think we paid 11 bucks for all those items. That first box may have been, I think, 7 bucks, or was it 11? 11, 11. Oh, okay. It was pretty high, and uh, so yeah. we didn't lose money out of it, but we didn't really make money. Right. Just trying to move stuff. Move it out so we don't have to take it with us. So we don't have to move it? Exactly. Oh, oh here. Oh. Here. oh. Mm -hmm. Every time. Oh. Come. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I forgot the name of this brand, but this was a silk dress. It's with... like Lil Pure or something like that. Yeah, that was. that's right. It was I sold for 50 dress. bucks. It was worth it. It was beautiful. It was. Are they polka dots or polka were they dots. like hexagons? Oh yeah, yeah. They were little hexagon, little bee, little yeah. little yeah, hexagons. <laughs> and um, that dress was beautiful. Uh, if it was my size, I would have just kept it. Kept it. Yeah. It felt so amazing. So yeah, fifty bucks. Yep, and we, it had the belt. Yeah, it did. We we've been selling some high dollar things this week. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wood. Let's hope it keeps going. Yeah, because we need the money. Um, we also sold the, what this laundry by Shelly Siegel dress, 17 bucks, eh, but it had been sitting in our inventory for a long time. We long have time. sold a couple of these dresses. We picked yeah, them up. We, we get it for a dollar. We did not get this one for a dollar. No. We, I think we actually, we paid more than we should have for that one. Yeah, because it was in the beginning. Remember? It was. It was early. It was like a 100 number something skew. <laughs> you guys, we're in the 1500s almost now, so. Um, and then... We last, is this the last sale? Yeah, last sale on Poshmark was this pair of um, Curran Elliott, the Dallin zipper jeans. They had zippers running down both legs. Really cool. They were also a blogger favorite. And they were 50 bucks. And this is one of those, this is the first time it's ever happened for us. Somebody sent us a message. And they were like, hey, can you measure the hips? Which we sometimes do, sometimes don't. I usually, yeah. We just didn't in right. these. It was early. So I was like, all right. I'll go measure. I grabbed them out of the inventory, measured the hips, sent her the message, and then she bought them. She actually bought them. Followed through and bought them. You guys know that's the curse of Poshmark, right? As soon as they ask for measurements, they don't buy it. Right. Nope. She followed through. So we salute you. Shwing. Thank you. Uh, we put measurements on everything, just in case you want to ask in the comments. We do, and for jeans and things like that that have some stretch in them, we'll put the size, the waist, the hips now but yeah. this was like a really low inventory and this is one of our first retail arbitrage is yes from tj maxx yeah but i had seen those on a blog and then we were at tj maxx and i saw them in the store and they were on clearance so we but it took a while to sell i think yeah. maybe it was oversaturated y'all when you shop at tj maxx in the clearance you buy and everybody else same thing everybody else is buying so it gets oversaturated for a while so you gotta wait it out yeah i think that's what happened you think that's what happened yeah Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> moving on to Mercari. What? We actually what had, did you say? We had a couple of Mercari sales. Okay. Um, this Free People slip dress sold for $35. This is the good one, you guys. They make this in three or four colorways. I can't remember. And it's the Ditsy. It's called I'm the sorry, Ditsy. What'd you call me? We have sold it once before. This is the second time. And we have one in our dead, not dead site, death pile. Money pile, whatever you call it. We have yeah. one in surplus that we need to list. The Ditsy. It's good. It's good. 35 bucks. $35 is good. Yeah. We had it listed at 50 But it's... we paid like two ninety nine because it's normally in the lingerie section because it feels so... Mm -hmm. Like right. nothing. All right. What else did we do? Uh, another Speedo swimsuit sold for 20 bucks. I'm going to miss these Speedos. Are you really... Are you guys going to miss them? I mean, <laughs> what's a what sold Sunday on a Monday without the Speedos? Yeah, right. Lately, they've been at least one a week. Um, we also sold this American rag, Destin Tank, for 12 bucks. You guys, this is the first thing I ever bought was at the bins. Really? Oh, the bins. It was a bins buy. Dan's never been to the bins, you guys. Mm -mm. Leave a comment below telling Dan <laughs> what you think of the bins. If you've been in your area, again, we live in Dallas, so we go to the one in Fort Worth. Well, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm so scared to take you. You get skis out sometimes. Sometimes. But you might depends. be okay. Yeah. This one, yes, yes, yes. This was awesome. You sold this uh, vintage denim Christmas shirt with all sorts of awesome Christmas embroidery all over it. YouTube made me buy it. Why? Because everyone was like, people love novelty Christmas. <laughs> so we've had it for a year. We did. We did have it for oh, a year. It was so ugly. 15 bucks. Get it out of here. 
Gone. Somebody liked it, and I was like, <laughs> jumping at the. <laughs> wait, wait, let me do this. I just relisted it. Yeah. So uh, I think I had it listed at thirty. I put it down at fifteen. Gone. Get Bye. out of here. All right, that was it for Macari. Um, um, three then, things. That's good. Yeah, was it three? One, two, three, four. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and let's move on to eBay. We sold this pair of Not Your Daughter's jeans. Uh, $21. They were new tag, right? Uh, Something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we probably paid a dollar. People tell me on YouTube, I hear it all the time, Not Your Daughter's jeans don't sell. I think this is the third or fourth pair we've sold. They sell for, especially if they're new tags, because people know their size, you know, because right. they're not their daughters anymore. Oh, okay. I, is that what I mean? I, I guess. No okay. What about this one? <laughs> um, we sold this Tommy Bahama swimsuit for 60 bucks. Yes. Uh, international sale, I believe. I think so. Somebody on an island. Yeah, And maybe. it was new with tags. It was. Uh, we always pick up bathing suits. We try to get ones that are new with tags. Was this, in a, this was in a box, wasn't it? I think this came in a box. It did. And it had the strap too, so you could wear it as a halter or you could. It was cool. Yeah. What else did we sell? This little boho sundress from Entro sold for 15 It was worth more. Was it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but just, you know, we're clearing it out. Clearing it out. Um, this pair of Lucy yoga pants for 25 They were in a recent haul we did, and I had mentioned that we do sell a lot of Lucy even though most people don't sell it. We do because people wear it and they know their size. And this sold almost instantly. Well, there you go. So, yeah. Yeah. Pick up is, the Lucy. Is, is Lucy on your, your chart? No, it's not a high-end active wear. So okay. Lucy is sold at department stores, but it's not like a Lululemon or an Athleta or anything like that. The, the retail is lower. Okay. Yeah. What else did we do? Um, this J. Crew cable knit sweater sold for 30 bucks. I think it was worth more, but... Sure, but what did we discover? We looked on our analytics. J. Crew's our top selling brand, you guys. Everyone's saying J. Crew is dead. <laughs> and I'm like, we went to our Poshmark. Do you guys have the Seller Insight app? If you don't, it's like 50 bucks. So it was a it was a splurge. Yeah. But we love the analytics. We like to look into it, and Poshmark doesn't give us enough info. So this one kind of breaks things down. And really, it, it breaks it down really well. It's yeah. really, really good. It used to be not so good, but it's kind of better. And uh, anyway, so our number one <laughs> selling brand is J. Crew, and number two is Fry. Surprise, surprise. We didn't know that though. We nope. had. What would you have guessed? I, I couldn't even tell you. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Put me on the spot like that. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, these Tory Tory Birch, <laughs> black patent, flats sold. For fifty five, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just wiped it out. Yeah. Yeah, we just listed these, and then they sold. Yeah, like. Do you guys know that if you list things, then they can sell? What? Get out of here! I forget that all the time. Same. Staring at huge pile of clothes needs to be listed. Yeah, giant pile. Okay, so that was it for clothes. Okay. Do we have stuff? We do have some stuff okay. on eBay. We sold this. What is this? Anti age micro needling kit. Yeah, I love the subscription boxes. I can't <laughs> stop. So uh, here's the deal. We here's found, the deal. We found a little a hack, subscription it, box hack. Okay. If you get stuff you don't like and you list it on eBay, the minute you open it, you open it, yeah, and you underprice everybody on eBay, you will sell it. Yep. Because people that didn't get the subscription box want to try it, and then they go on eBay, and if there's 400 of them, mm -hmm. you're not going to sell it. No. We sold the same day. Boom. Yeah, we Dead. did. Dislisted and sold the same day for 40 bucks. Bye. We need to take our own advice and keep it. <laughs> I know, right? Says my makeup drawer. Mm. We sold more Oreo crumbles. <laughs> we need a theme song. For this you. lady bought you guys. three lots of three. So she bought nine bags of Oreo cookie crumbles. For eighty-one dollars plus twelve bucks shipping. Yes. Yes. We are here for it. What we pay three seventy-five or something like that total. Uh, Seventy-five cents a bag. I can't. Mm. You guys, we are making money on or smashed up Oreos. I'll sell it. I don't care what it is. Yeah. I mean, we've made a very good return on smashed up Oreos. I can't even believe it. And now our listing says limited quantities. Yes, because we've sold more than half of what we had. Oh, oh man, oh man. So if you need your Oreo crumbles, you know where to go. Get them on our eBay store. They're about to expire. So <laughs>
It's probably why she bought them all. Probably. Um, and then the last thing we sold was, all right, we're getting ready to move. Yeah, hopefully. tell the story. Knock hopefully wood. getting ready to move. And so we're cleaning out stuff and boxing stuff and like just getting rid of junk. And I came across my old gaming laptop from like 2008, somewhere in that area. It was like huge and heavy and like yeah. brick. It was a br massive, you know, like 17 inch screen, <laughs> big boy, and it probably weighed a thousand pounds. Yeah. And he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was seriously going to throw it away. I was, I looked at you and I was like, how do you throw away an old laptop? I'm like eBay. <laughs> yeah. No, you said it at first. No, at first you were like, I don't know, the Goodwill. I was like, eh, and then some, you were like, just list it on eBay. I was like, oh, all right, fine. I listed it on eBay for a hundred bucks. For parts. Yeah, it doesn't work. I took out the hard drive and it's for parts. You know, it, it used to turn on, but I took the hard drive out. So nobody has, you know, old data or whatever. I listed it for a hundred bucks and within probably, what, 15 minutes of me listing it, somebody shot me an offer for 50 bucks. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out of here. And it's going to Canada. Somebody in Ontario is getting a non-working Alienware laptop for 50 bucks. So I think that's what we're going to do as we're packing our stuff up. Is We have a box, actually two, maybe three. Almost three. Of stuff that we find that we don't want or that's old and that we're going to either donate. We're just going to pop it on eBay. Just bang. Picture, list. Picture, list. Real fast. Or from, you know, whatever. You don't have to do anything special. No special lights. Just list it from the eBay app on yeah. your phone. And That's if what it's, we find. If it's something that has a barcode, you just scan the barcode with your phone in the eBay app and it fills out automatically everything. populates. You just list one similar and it's take your own picture and you're done. And I, if you guys have been watching our channel for a while, you know that we list things while we're in the store because we don't list things at home. Like, it's, it's a struggle. The struggle yeah. is actually real. It is. So if you could just pop, pop them on eBay like that, it's great. Yeah, it's fast. So let's see what we, how much we sold or how okay. much we earned. On po no, we did good. Poshmark, we got three forty nine. Okay. Earned. Not bad, right? These are our net earnings, you guys. So yeah, that's after fees, what, fees and shipping. Yeah. Um, 60 bucks from Mercari. We're getting there. Get in there, Mercari. Come on. And two ninety five on eBay. Okay. You so guys, this is getting okay. That's our first seven hundred dollar week, man. Seven oh four. You know yes. Labor Day was part of that. It was. Labor Day was insane. We, we sold had a good like, Labor Day. like eight or nine things on Labor Day. Yeah, we filmed a video for you guys and we wanted to tell you so bad. Because yeah. we had all these sales coming in and we we're like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So uh, anyway, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. It would help us out a lot here on YouTube because we're trying to get organic people to be in our channel. Sure. Shawana, thank you very much for being our YouTube friend. We checked out your channel and we love it. Love it. Loving it. Also. And we love you. Yeah. And like, so if you want to be part of our YouTube family, we would really like it. As we move into our new house, we're going to do more adventures and you're going to see lots of cool Hauls from us coming up. We went to a store that's kind of native to Texas, and we're going to show you what we got there. Is it native here? I think so. In Oklahoma, too. But okay. I don't want to offend you. Okay. okay. So, anyway, you guys, we'll see you next week for sure, yep. and maybe sometime during this week. With a haul video or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.